Hello friends, in this video, I will talk about object essay in a WordPress. Okay. So in one of the previous video, uh, I, we have seen how the transient API works to store a uh, cache data into the database. So now, um, instead of using the transient API, how we can use object cache to store our data into the cache memory instead of storing into the database because transient API is very good uh, API to have our data to store as a cached version into the database, but still it's stored into the database, right? So uh, even if we want to fetch a data, cache data, we have to make a database query, okay? So let's see how we can use object cache into the WordPress. So, by default this object wp object as a class provide uh, the wordpress core implement this class to implement the object as a okay and similarly we we can set get the data um similarly we have did using the transient api so instead of using the transient api functions we will use wp cache functions to store our data into the cache okay so by default wordpress provide a non-persistent uh, object as so by default uh, it provides one position. This means data stored into the cache, but resides in memory only. Okay, and only for the duration of the request. And it won't stay. It the cache data will not store per persistently across the page loads unless we install uh, persistent uh, a caching plugin and the object cache. Uh, what whatever object cache we use, like Redis or Memcache or any other object cache uh, installed on the server okay so how this non-persistent uh, cache data works okay so before that let's just see what are the funs wp cache functions are there so by default we don't use this uh, functions provided by the wp object cache the methods okay we will use the wp cache functions which will include wp cache add so this function add the data if the cache key does not already exist if it exists then it won't add the data and simply return the false wp cache set function used to set the data even if the key is already exist and it will it will over it override okay and then wp cache get function uh to uh to get the cache data okay and if it's not exist then it will simply return false okay and similarly uh, wp cache delete to get to delete the cache uh, and then replace if the key is exist then it will replace the data if key is not exist then it will return simply false okay and then WP cache flush to flush all the object cache, what are the data store, object cache data stored. Okay, so that will re, uh, that will be flushed. And uh, and there are some other functions which we can, uh, you can go through it uh, to learn more about. Okay, so let's see how this uh, non-persistent cache worked. Okay, so I have created one very simple example here. So I am just uh, getting, setting this example, like MLB object as example. Um, then I have to keep it a cache key, okay, which is like static key. I am simply get the cache key and I'm using the movie library uh, as a group, cache group. So if you go to the cache uh, get, uh, not in the plugin, uh, into the core, okay. So when you can see here, it will uh, call the get method of the wp object cache class okay and when we go to the object cache class so this is the default in the wordpress okay so it's available in wp includes folder class wp object cache dot php file okay and here you can see the get method okay here and it accept key group uh, then force whether you want to under to whether to force and update our local cache from the persistent cache and then found whether uh whether the key was found in the cache okay so uh, this will like by default object cache is not installed okay um so it will simply store save all the cache the data non-persistently into this cache property of this class okay so it will be like in the non-persistent the cache data will be available for that request only but when we refresh the new uh, like when we refresh the page or send request again then it will uh, it will fetch the data from the database again or whenever like from wherever from you are fetching the data and then store it into the cache and then return it so non persistent cache would be like helpful where you are making a same function call multiple times okay so how it's worked so in this example i have like get the key 
and if it's false like if the data is not there then i'm simply uh, have this cache data just very simple message object cache data and then set the data i have passed the cache key the cache data and the movie library uh, which is the cache group i am keeping okay and then uh, the expiry time i'm keeping four hours expiry time okay and simply message get this uh, data saved into the cache and else if the data fetch from the cache then it will be simply says data fetch from the cache okay and similarly here let me just uncomment this code okay so here i am calling the same function twice and let's see how so in the first call uh, in a non persistent cache uh, let's see in by practical so i'm just going uh, to here to second window and refresh this page so in the first call okay it says message data saved in the cache okay so first time it's a uh, cache key does not exist so it, it said and simply uh, our uh, function return this actual value object asset data then in the second call it says data fetched from the cache and then our actual uh, cache data value okay so first in the first call it saved into the cache in the second call it fetched from the cache and if you refresh the page if you keep refreshing the page you will see the same because on a on a same request or another request data is not uh, there because it's not it's not a persistent okay so this way uh, non persistent uh, 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 cache works in the wordpress okay so uh, even if object cache is not installed and if the same function call multiple times within the same request then we can use the wp cache uh, cache wp cache functions uh, to at least store the data uh, for non persistent time only for that uh, only for that request so that with the, uh, within the same request we can save uh, multiple database queries or multiple remote api queries like based on the use cases right so we can we can uh, we can prevent that as well okay so how we can make this uh, cache persistent okay so there are multiple plugins are there so i am giving an example using the redis object cache okay and i have installed redis uh, cache plugin which provide um the drop-in or the connector like which is a connector from between wordpress and the already subject case okay so how it's it going to work okay so for that uh two things is required first is install redis i am using a local laravel wallet and i am using a brew a package manager for the mac os okay so to install the redis object case or the redis server i uh, i i installed it using the brew install redis okay which i have already installed i am not going to so how we can set up but uh, these are the commands i have done and it's it's different based on what kind of local environment setup you have okay or where where you want to install it on the on actual server okay uh, but only thing is that so and for so once we have this redis server installed object as a we also need a php extension because like uh, we need php extension to make our like interact with our redis server so there is a php redis extension there and i have installed it using this pecl command okay pecl install redis and it will install the extension and enable it in the php ini file okay so these two things i have already did in my local setup okay but just sharing these two commands if you are manage if you are using local laravel wallet or if you are managing uh, your local environment setup through the uh, uh, brew package manager okay or have a custom installation so uh, this way you can you have to install redis object cache and the php redis extension okay and another required is a plugin so i have already installed the plugin so for redis object cache i have installed this redis object cache plugin uh, okay and it provides the settings so if you go to the settings redis you can see here by default status is drop in not installed i will also talk about what is a drop in okay and then file system is writable and the key prefix so i have changed this key, uh, key prefix by, by default okay so uh, i have changed because if the key prefix constant is not defined um then it will take a cache salt value and it will be a very long string so for example uh, if i go to the wp config.php file and if i simply uh, stop in, on comment this one and uh, refresh this page um, it will take some another one but i haven't displayed so if i enable object cache 
this uh, key prefix have been taken and this key prefix is a cache salt key from our wp config dot file so wp cache salt key so this key have been used and this is very long one so for simplicity for to keep it simple uh, in my local setup i have defined this constant and this constant i came to know by checking the object sa.php file uh, here the drop in um, into the wp content here so here i i found this function key here okay and from like this key have been used as a prefix to st to store our cache data okay so um into the wp config.php file i have set this one and if we go and refresh now it says learn wp uh, okay so it make easy to get it and you can also see the client is php redis okay version 5.3.4 so i am using this php redis extension and already installed but if this extension is not uh, extension is not installed then the, there is a library called php redis library as well okay so that library i think used by this plugin as well so if this extension not enable uh, uh install and active then that php cs library php redis uh, library will be used to interact with our redis server okay um so uh you have like you can do a google and you can go through how we can install this redis and the php redis extensions and all all stops okay um okay so now we have installed the like object cache uh, already set up redis and then extension and the plugin so now uh we this local local site do have object as a enable okay so how we can check this one so now if i do here into the cache.php file we have seen similar examples right so now in this case uh, uh, in the next request it, it should say data saved in the cache okay and data fetched from the cache uh, so if we go here so this is the first time like uh, before installing the object cache it says data saved in cache and message data fetched from cache now if i refresh it again it will do same okay but if i refresh again now it says data fetched from cache data fetched from cache now because we have installed the object as a persistent caching object cache system so now uh, it will save persistently into the uh, uh, into the whatever object uh cache system you have installed like in our case it's a redis okay so uh, this way it will be saved okay um so let uh now uh since our we have installed the cache let's see how it works like dropping so basically wordpress allows to override uh object cache um uh, this class wp object cache class to override by the external plugins and that plugin will uh, make um changes to this uh, like create this similar class with the same functions and methods but in the behind the scene it implement uh, the persistent caching implementation like interacting the interacting with the uh, redis object cache okay and stored uh, the cache data into the cache memory okay so if you uh, go here there are multiple persistent cache plugins are there one is mam cache uh, mam cache there then apcu uh, then redis object cache which i'm talking about then p redis library this library not php redis but p redis library will be used if the p pcl redis php extension is not installed okay um so and even if like uh, in the previous video as i mentioned into transient api now if the object cache is installed then transient api data will be stored into the um uh, into the object cache so let's see how it's going to work so i am simply here let me just comment this one right now okay and call this function okay so now uh, it will like we have called this get transient set transient but it will save into the data so if i refresh the page okay transient data save fetch from the transient data okay message is same but if you go here so uh, the i have you i'm using the ready so it provide a ready cli command which will uh, 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 allow me to in, in, uh, like to get to interact the interact with the ready server uh, through the command line so here there is a uh, keys okay and i will say learn wp star so it's like uh, uh like it will fetch all the keys starting with learn wp and this is the word uh, prefix i have set so these are the uh, like cache keys have been set and uh, some of it you can see wp colon right so all these have been set by the wordpress uh okay so all this object cache will be saved uh, initially in the non-persistent cache it's not stored but now we have 
uh, cache install plugin is there. So all the uh, WP cache functions will uh, WP cache WP cache set functions will save all the cache data here. Okay, so now you can see the learn WP transient then MLB here. So let me just copy this one uh, and keys and I will just simply start start. So now this and if you copy this one and get you can see the data here. Okay, so now instead of storing into the database, it will store transient data will be stored into the object asset because it's there and uh, plugin is also there to interact with the data object asset, right? So this way, uh, if uh, transient API still we can use in our plugins or in our themes, if you want to make sure even if the object asset is not installed or the persistent asset, we can make sure that our uh, data is stored into the database and we can make use of it okay uh, but if you know that uh, like if we are working on some client projects where we know that object cache is there uh, anyway so we can keep using the uh, wp cache functions okay to store our cache data into the uh, object cache so um, and if i uh, if i enable this function as well this one okay and refresh it again let me just copy this one and refresh it again okay and now go back here and say it's keys start start so now you can see and you can see the movie library here which is our group and then our uh, cache key so this way uh, this object is stored our uh, uh, generate our key uh, object as a key name okay so yeah and if i just uh, copy this one and get you can see the value of that key uh, cache key okay so this way um, uh, object cache or persistent cache works okay thanks for watching see you on the next one jay wordpress